All right, I know some of you are going to believe, or not believe, that I can get pineapple smell out of the smell of, effectively, puke. So these are some chemicals I want to use. Here's the star of the show, of course, and butyric acid, which is what you smelled in lab, and it smelled absolutely miserable. And then I'm going to use an ethyl alcohol and sulfuric acid, and I'm going to go ahead and make those things into an ester that smells lovely, like pineapples. Here, I'll prove it. Alright, I've mixed the chemicals together in the proper proportions, and they're now in the bottom of that round flask. And above it you can see a condenser tube, which has got water running to it. You can see the bubbles coming through every so often. What I'm doing is I'm heating that up using the Bunsen burner. And eventually this will come to a boil. It will go up into the condenser tube where it will condense before it reaches the top. And it will fall back down into the base of the tube. And this is something called reflux. And I'm going to do this for like 20 minutes to make the reaction go to completion. So that's what's going to happen for the next 20 minutes, which is boring, so I'm going to turn the video off as that happens. Alright, so my reaction's been running for about 20 minutes now. You can see the reflux happening there. I'm boiling down low, but you can see the product dripping back into the flask as it condenses back. So that's been running for about 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the burner and let it cool off to room temperature. Alright, my product has started to cool down now, and you can see there's two different layers here in my separatory funnel. You've got water down below, and the organic product up above, the ester up above. So, uh, I'm going to let this cool off a bit more, then I'll decant the water off, and I'll distill off the product here for a bit. Alright, what I did next was I used some sodium sulfate to pull the extra water out. And now my ester is in the bottom of this flask. And I just have a distillation apparatus to distill that off, and that will give me my final product. So, quite a few steps to get here, but we've turned that butyric acid that smelled really bad into something that smells pretty good. So my last step is just to distill. You can see I've got a Bunsen burner heating the liquid here. That steam will pass up through the neck and into the condenser, and I'll collect the distillate down below in a test tube. I'll monitor the temperature and keep that constant, and keep a constant flow of water on the condenser. That's just about it. That's the last step here.